Hey folks, thanks for checking out this short video. Just wanted to share one of the targets for this year's Capture the Flag event we've got going on at Calgary B-Sides. The CTF course this year is an engineering company that is building a missile launcher controlled by TCP Modbus. We had a couple of industrial control flags last year, but this flag shoots missiles, which is pretty cool. Now we have T-Shark going on up in this top terminal session, and that's kind of like mixing TCP dump and Wireshark together so that you can see the protocol communications a little more clearly. Now over here we've got the HMI, which for the CTF event will be behind a couple of firewalls, just like you'd find in a normal industrial shop. But let's connect to that controller, and you can see here up in the T-Shark window that we've got a three-way handshake followed by some Modbus connections, in this case Reed Coil. Let's move this missile launcher a little bit using our really amazing GUI. Okay, it's not that amazing, but it does get the job done. We're going to move it left, 950 milliseconds. Now there's a loop going on in the Raspberry Pi and what that does is it reads the coils and registers about every 30-45 seconds, something like that. And once they see a change, they make actions. So this logic is very much like what we'd see in a PLC. So in this case, the motor's moving left and the safety is enabled. Now, it's great moving a missile around, but it would be much more fun to shoot one, I think. So let's exit this menu. and go to number four. Launch the missile. Have to disable the safety to actually launch the missile and we have to put in a launch code. So let's take a guess. One, two, three, four. No, it turns out it's not one, two, three, four. Not too surprised. Let's hope they don't arm missiles with one, two, three, four. We can bypass that altogether if we want by using a direct connection to the Modbus controller and setting the coil and register values manually. There isn't any authentication built into TCP Modbus. So let's try this with any luck. All right, we see we've got another three-way handshake and some more data that's going across between the two of them. And this is a little timing sensitive because as I mentioned, there's a logic loop that's going on in there. And with any luck, it says it's disabled the safety and it wants to launch the missile. And there we go. Thanks very much for checking this out. We really hope we see you out at B-Sides on October 19th and 20th.